This is Zambia, known for its rich copper deposits and the vibrant Copper Belt region. Join us on Open Tierra to explore its geography, history, people, food, and economy. Zambia is a landlocked country located in southern Africa. It shares borders with eight countries and has a varied landscape ranging from mountains to valleys to plateaus. Its geography has played an important role in its history and economy. Zambia is situated on a high-altitude plateau in south-central Africa. Its neighbors are the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the north, Tanzania to the northeast, Malawi to the east, Mozambique to the southeast, Zimbabwe and Botswana to the south, and Angola to the west. The most notable physical features in Zambia are the Zambezi River Basin and its waterfalls, including the famous Victoria Falls located on the border with Zimbabwe. Lake Kariba, created by a large dam on the Zambezi, is one of the world's largest artificial lakes. There is a mountain range along Zambia's eastern border and a plateau that covers most of the center of the country. It has a tropical climate with three seasons, a cool, dry winter from May to August, a hot, dry season from August to November, and a warm, wet season from November to April. Temperatures and rainfall vary by region and elevation. The hottest areas are the low-lying Luangwa and Zambezi valleys, while the higher elevation plateau areas tend to be cooler. Zambia possesses rich natural resources thanks to its varied terrain. Its rivers, lakes, and underground aquifers provide plentiful freshwater sources. Large mineral deposits make mining an important economic activity, producing copper, cobalt, and emeralds. The country's landscape also supports crop and livestock farming and timber harvesting from its forests. Zambia is home to a diverse population of over 17 million people. The country's history and geography have contributed to the varied ethnic identities, languages, and religious beliefs of its inhabitants over time. There are around 73 ethnic groups within Zambia. The main groups include the Bemba in the northern, Copper Belt and Luapula provinces, the Nyanja Chiwa and Tonga in the eastern province, the Lozi in the western province, and the Lunda, Luvale, Kayonde, Nkoya, and Lozi in the northwestern province. These groups have different languages, cultural practices, and traditional leaders that have shaped Zambian society. English is the official language used in education and business. However, between 40 and 70 indigenous languages are spoken in Zambia as mother tongues. The most widely spoken of these are Bemba, Nyanja, Tonga, and Lodzi. Radio programs and newspapers are available in the major vernacular languages to help promote cultural diversity and expression. Urban migration has also led to some ethnic intermixing and sharing of languages between groups. Most Zambians are Christians, with membership split between Protestant denominations, Roman Catholicism, and independent Christian churches. Some combine Christianity with traditional indigenous beliefs in spirits and ancestor worship. Other religious groups include Muslims and Hindus, mostly within immigrant communities. The cuisine of Zambia is rich and flavorful, with influences from African, British, and Indian traditions. The staple Enchima cornmeal dish is at the heart of most mealtimes. Here are some commonly enjoyed Zambian dishes. Enchima is a thick porridge made from ground white cornmeal that is cooked with water into a dough-like consistency. It is eaten at virtually every meal, typically served with vegetables, beans, meat, or fish stew, known locally as umunani. Enchima is used to scoop up the flavorful umunani dishes. Chikanda is a popular snack and light meal, consisting of pounded and fried cassava, mixed with eggs, onions, tomatoes, and spices, sold by vendors on streets all over Zambia. 
this vegetarian-friendly fritter makes for an affordable, delicious bite. Ifisashi is a vegetable dish made from the leaves of the cassava plant. The young, tender cassava leaves are washed, then cooked down with tomatoes, onions, and vegetables, like carrot and eggplant, until soft and flavorful. Delicious ladled over in Shima. Kapenta are tiny dried fish, frequently enjoyed in Zambia, often fried up into delicious fish cakes called batonga. Kapenta provides an inexpensive but protein-rich addition to carbohydrate-heavy and shima meals. The history of Zambia stretches back to early human civilization with the emergence of hunter-gatherer communities. Through the colonial period and independence, Zambia's modern history has been shaped by the quest for identity, unity, and prosperity across its diverse lands. The earliest inhabitants of Zambia were Khoisan hunter-gatherers. Between 300 AD and 400 AD, migrating Bantu groups from the Congo Basin and East Africa settled the region introducing agriculture, metalworking, and new social structures. By 1000 AD, several centralized kingdoms like the Lunda and Luba emerged through agriculture, trade, and conquests. The colonial scramble for Africa and reached Zambia in the late 1800s. It was originally administered under charter by Cecil Rhodes's British South Africa Company before becoming Britain's northern Rhodesia colony. Commercial mining of copper and other minerals dominated the colonial economy while local communities lost autonomy. This sparked early nationalism. In the 1950s, the fight for independence grew more organized under leaders like Kenneth Kaunda. The United National Independence Party became the majority black nationalist party. After the 1962 elections, in which it swept the urban constituency seats, Britain agreed to give Northern Rhodesia independence. On October 24, 1964, Northern Rhodesia became the independent Republic of Zambia. Kaunda served as the first president leading a one-party state until 1991 when multi-party politics returned. Privatization and political reforms have since tried to combat corruption, reduce poverty, and stabilize the economy amid external challenges. In the late 1800s, when Zambia was claimed as a protectorate under British rule, commercial mining of copper, lead, and zinc dominated the colonial economy. The white settler population controlled lucrative farming in the fertile lands. Meanwhile, most Africans were pushed to marginal lands and had to pay burdensome taxes. This created the foundations for later inequality. Zambia's first decades of independence were marked by state-led intervention in the economy. While copper prices were high in the 1960s and early 70s, the government invested in infrastructure, health, and education. However, by the mid-1970s, global oil shocks and falling copper prices plunged Zambia into debt. Strict austerity reforms by the World Bank and IMF followed in the 1990s, pushing privatization of state-owned enterprises like the mines. Today, Zambia has a GDP of $22 billion and remains heavily dependent on copper, which accounts for over 70% of its exports. However, fluctuating commodity prices leave it vulnerable to global markets. Agriculture, tourism, manufacturing, and hydroelectric power also contribute to economic activity. Yet high poverty and unemployment continue especially among its rapidly growing young population. If you enjoyed this video on Zambia, you'll love this next one.